Hi, this is a Tutor Nick P, and this is Noun Phrase 191. Noun Phrase today is a near-death experience. Okay, let's take a look at the note here. If someone says to have had an NDE or a near-death experience. So, of course, NDE, NDE is an abbreviation for it. So, if you wanted to look up about it, you want to look at YouTube or online, you could just type in NDEs. Uh, that really stands for a near-death experience. Now let's continue. He or she has had an experience of temporarily dying and then returning or being brought back to life or being revived. Uh, now, sometimes it may depend upon how long you were dead or how long your heart had stopped. Uh, the longer you were stopped, uh, you may, uh, the, the long, you know, the more you may have actually experienced while you were gone, or at least this is what people claim. Okay, so let's continue. Most people claim to experience a number of things, and surprisingly, a lot of these things repeat among the stories of people who have experienced this. They don't all experience exactly the same thing, but these are some of the, uh, the qualities or some of the traits of the stories they're telling. All right, so let's take a look at the first one. A number of things such as an out-of-body experience, like their, their, their soul, left their body. And sometimes, you know, there there might even be some proof to it, because maybe sometimes they, they might have even, sometimes they claim uh, to be like above their body, looking down at the people trying to revive them. Sometimes they can later on even say things that the doctor said, or sometimes they've even entered another room and they could see their grieving relatives or their worried relatives talking about things. And sometimes they're able to say things that really happened. Uh, or at least there are some stories about this. Anyway, let's continue. Um, uh, seeing an, all right. Seeing and entering uh, a tunnel of white light. This is another common one that we hear about, you know, whether you actually went into it or not. Some people just see it. Some people actually entered into it and felt being pulled through it very, very quickly. Uh, if one had gone further, they may claim they were met by relatives. Uh, who have died before, or some other close friends, or possibly even ancestors. You know, sometimes they're met by relatives they didn't know, and then they found out that relative told them that they were related to them somehow. Uh, there have been several cases where, you know, sometimes uh, somebody died, and, you know, they, they, um, they told them that they were actually their brother or sister. Maybe their, their parents lost the child, a miscarriage or something, and never told them. Sometimes there are, there are a few cases really like this. Uh, let's go on. Um, all right. Uh, or may also see their life flash before their eyes. So we, we do get this phrase from that, from people who have died, where it's almost like they're watching a movie of their own life. Um, so strange. Uh, yes. Uh, uh, or even experience, yeah. Uh, uh, or even experience a life review. All right, this is good to know. I mean, if, if this is really true, uh, do we actually get a life review after this is over? If, if you really kind of thought that, you, you, might, you might change your life. You might want to be careful. You might, you might want to be more prepared for that review if we're really having a life review when they died. And, and surprisingly, a lot of people said that some of the things that they were pleased with were not things that we often think are the most important things like, you know, getting good jobs or making a lot of money or winning awards or something. A lot of times it's just, you know, acts of kindness and, you know, uh, unconditional things that we did that we didn't have to do. Uh, but anyway, a lot of people talk about that they actually get a life review. Um, uh, let's continue. Okay. Uh, usually there is a point where one is told that it is not their time and they must go back. Well, obviously, we get to only hear the stories of people that have returned. If you were, if it was your time, you're not coming back and we're not hearing their story. Um, now, again, I, I, I've sometimes told this uh, to students and sometimes I know some students think that, well, maybe these are just people online that either wrote a book or, you know, they're trying to sell you something or maybe even try to convince you of religion or something like that. But to be honest, the far majority, there, there might be a couple like that online, but uh, of the ones I've looked at before, they're usually just people sitting there with a camera feeling compelled that they had to tell 
what they experience. Most of them, they're, they, they don't have videos that are monetized. They're not making money from it. If anything, they're putting themselves out there that, you know, somebody might, you know, criticize or say something. And they're, they're doing it just because they often feel like they're supposed to, I guess, or, or, or as a warning, just to let people know what they really felt. Uh, let's go on. Uh, what is that? Yeah, it's okay. Surprisingly, most claim they don't want to return. Yeah, well, at least, you know, all the good stories we hear that they said that the, the feeling of being there or wherever they were, uh, it, it was great or it was joy or it was just something that was kind of like, we might say, out of this world. And, you know, going back to Earth seemed like a, like a, a dirty, messy place or something like that. So, so we often hear stories for, for those that supposedly got that far. That they actually, even even if they had, you know, children and family and stuff like that, that they, they almost, oh, really? I got to go back? I don't want to go back. I, you often hear them tell stories like that in, in a very surprising way. All right, let's continue. Um, there are also some cases of NDEs where some claim they went to hell or some place like it. So you got to be careful. You don't want to end up there. Um, okay. Um, where they were rescued. Uh, okay. Uh, where they went to hell or something. Somehow they were rescued. Well, obviously they came back. So they didn't die, luckily. But they might have experienced some terrible minutes. <laughs> you know, sometimes maybe some imp is attacking them or maybe they're just in total darkness and afraid or uh I, I don't know so some of them have seen some terrible things but uh but again those people they came back i think a lot of them again might have changed their life after that uh and how did they come back well in most cases when they were rescued usually it was by calling out to god uh at least those that claimed they came back now we don't hear about as many if you look online you won't find as many Probably nobody wants to talk about that. <laughs> if they experienced an NDE where they went to hell, they, they probably don't want to tell people about that one. Uh, mostly the people that want to talk about it, they want to talk about the good one. All right. So, again, uh, you know, whether you believe this or not, you should, you should look because really nobody really knows what happens after we die. Uh, we all know that we die. Uh, and these people might be the only ones that had a glimpse, you know, a look at maybe where we're going. Uh, so, you know, uh, if you're looking for answers, you might find some answers there. All right, let's continue. Um, all right. The origin of this term was coined by a psychiatrist, Raymond Moody. Okay. He used it as an umbrella term, a term to cover like all the different experiences that he heard about so remember he had people that were it was a psychiatrist so a lot of people coming to him he collected a number of people that were telling him these stories and this is where he he did he did write a book about it though um and his book was called life after life okay telling of all their accounts of what actually happened so but he was you know it, it even as a psychiatrist, he experienced this a lot. He also told some stories of other doctors that too, that didn't believe in stuff like this. But when they experience the same thing, well, completely changes you around if you ever experience this. Uh, also, you know, um, with myself, I never experienced this. But I remember when I was a kid, my mother told me that she had one of these. And she had an operation where she lost a lot of blood and she claimed that this happened to her and this was in the days before they even had the term there was no term nde nobody knew how to call it back at that time and back at that time you had to be careful who you told sometimes people thought you were crazy if you told a story like this uh nowadays there's a lot of people out there you know especially with the internet they'll get out there and they'll tell their story so it's it's kind of interesting okay all right let's uh, let's continue uh, anyway, so, all right, and I, we just have a few examples here. Uh, here's the first one. Some psychiatrists try to explain away near-death experiences as trauma of a dying experience. Yeah, they use a lot of big words and a lot of big terms, but I don't know. 
they didn't experience it. <laughs> uh, even if they don't believe it, they can go on and on. Really, I don't think they know anything because they didn't really experience it. It's just theories and thoughts they have, and probably a lot of them don't want to believe in something like this, so they would rather try to find some rational explanation for it. So they'll say, remember, I've covered another word, uh, say gobbledygook, you know, they'll they'll talk about a lot of uh, very high-tech words and try to explain, also in psychiatry, uh, in psychology, why, you know, people might be having this experience, but in reality, those people that had this experience, they don't feel this way. They they know it felt very real to them. All right, and anyway, let's look at number two here. She claims she had an NDA, an NDE, and it was a life-changing experience. Anybody that does have this, it comes back. It usually is a life-changing experience for them because, you know, they look at the world in a completely different way now. Uh, so uh, it may change their life a lot. They may do, they, nothing would probably make you have a life-changing experience quicker than an experience like this. Anyway, I uh, hope you got it. I hope it was food for thought. Uh, if anybody out there uh, knows of anybody else that had an NDE or you had an NDE and you want to you wanna, you wanna mention something about it in the comments, uh, I'd be glad to hear about it. Uh, I think it's interesting. Anyway, um, I hope you found it, uh, you know, like I said, food for thought. Thank you for your time. Bye-bye.